Hi. Hi, Amy. How are you? I'm pretty good. How are you, Andrew? I'm doing well. I'm yeah, doing what's well. that? Uh, this is a solar panel, uh, because today I think we're going to talk about solar, right? Yeah, we are. We love solar. We do. We, we do. do. Yeah. Who are you? Uh, I'm Andrew Valinas. I'm the Executive Director of the Montana Renewable Energy Association. And you are? I'm Amy Sullenberg, and I'm the Executive Director of Climate Smart Missoula. And we love talking solar together. In fact, we've done it a bunch. We keep teaching people about solar, but we've never made a video about it. That's right. Let's so, do it. Yeah, let's go for it. Hey, Andrew. Hey, Abby. How are you? I'm good. Good. Can you tell us a little bit more about solar in Montana? Is it really a good idea since it's so dark and gray here a lot of the time? Yeah, you know, it really is a good idea. Montana has an excellent solar resource. It's actually comparable to Florida and even places like Germany, which is the world's leader in solar installation. So although sometimes we have dark winters, we have really bright summers and that helps a lot. Awesome. So how do you do it? How do you go solar? Well, you know, we're going to bring on Brian a little bit later to talk about the process, but something that's really important that I want people to know about is called net metering. And net metering is a billing mechanism that uh, solar customers can use to store energy credits throughout the year. So if you are producing more energy than your home is using, you can send that energy out to the grid for the utility to provide to your neighbors. If you're producing more than you're using, you get credits per kilowatt hour onto your bill that you can use throughout your yearly cycle. So you can offset sometimes uh, your energy use later in the year. That all sounds great. Let's bring on a solar consultant to learn even more. Hi. Hi, Brian. How are you? Good. Who are you? Uh, I'm Brian von Lossberg. I'm a city council person, but I've also been privileged to do some solar consulting in the area. So why do people go solar? That is a great question. Um, you know, people talk a lot about going solar for money reasons, financial reasons, and that's a, a key reason uh, to do it. But I always like to also mention that people do it uh, really to live their values. So values and money. Awesome. Um, so what does the process of, of going through an installation look like? Sure. So if you're a homeowner and you're interested, um, you know, the easiest thing to do is to contact uh, a solar installer. There's lots of solar installers out there across the state. Um, and these folks are qualified and uh, ready to come out, take a look at your house and your property, assess, you know, where might uh, you be able to put it on a roof or even perhaps install it on a, uh, on a pole. There's pole mounted arrays as well. And they'll go through an assessment with you, tell you what kind of um, solar resource you have at your house. They'll take a look at your energy bills from your uh, utility and do an assessment of how much energy you might want to produce relative to how much you consume. Um, and then they're going to propose a system to you. And it might be a three kilowatt system, a five kilowatt system, something bigger, smaller, in between. And they're going to tell you a price. And the prices have dropped dramatically uh, over the years. And they're going to give you a quote. And you'll be able to make a decision about, you know, is this a good thing uh, for my family and me to do and move forward from there. So say I get to the point and I've signed a contract to get my solar installed, what do I have to do to maintain it? Yeah, very little if anything, honestly. These systems are very durable. Um, they're typically uh, warranted for you know, 25 years approximately, plus or minus. Um, there's little you have to do. You know, there might be uh, some snow buildup in the winter. Uh, the systems will typically shed that off themselves. You might want to help with that a little bit. Um, but they stand up really well to hail. Uh, rain is good. It'll kind of wash your system off for you. So, um, yeah, there's very little to do from a maintenance standpoint. That's great. Yeah. Um, do they last a long time? They do. Uh, they, you know, like I was mentioning, they're typically warranted for about 25 years, um, but systems, you know, last much longer than that and continue to produce uh, energy for decades. Fantastic. Yeah. So how do you know the system's working? Yeah, it's... Uh, uh, these systems can provide you just some really fascinating uh, information, and I have found that uh, people love to track, you know, what's happening with their system. So uh, you can often see now how much energy an individual panel, you know, you might have a system of 12 panels, uh, but with the inverters on individual panels, you might be able to see on an app on your phone that your whole system is producing so much uh, energy and each individual panel is producing so much energy. You'll be able to see on your utility bill uh, how much energy your house uh, has used, how much um, uh, the credits that you've built up through the net metering program over time. Uh, I have friends who have installed systems and you know, they become very excited at checking their meter and actually seeing uh, their usage uh, go backwards, so to speak, you know, when they're building up credits in excess of the energy that their actual house is using. So 
I have referred to it before as the, the ecstasy of information, and uh, people tend to be interested in that. That's awesome. Well, thanks so much for telling us about the process of going solar. We've got lots more resources and information on this website.